this is one of, if not the, like, biggest, longest climbs in a way. Um, and we definitely get the highest in the pool. Which is very scary. Right now, I just like look at it. Yeah, I want to see what it is. I want to Tell me how you're feeling. A dog poop. My mind is like, ugh. I want to sleep, but I can't. I think I'm a little bonky. Oh, f we have ten and a half miles. We have longer than we just did. Right now? No. Sure, yeah, yeah. I, I felt really good for like the previous five hours, so this is like highs and lows. That's just the worst I felt all day. I spend the majority of my time on this earth alone. And I like it. If I don't get enough alone time in, I start to go a little crazy. I like alone time, it doesn't bother me. I get more freaked out being around people for too long. Go, go home. Shoo, shoo fly, I know you're really cute. I actually would take you home. Go home! I like that it's just me in my own head. I like to daydream. I like to just go at my own pace. I like to be self-reliant. I like not worrying about other people. But when it comes to bigger races and longer runs, it seems like you wouldn't be able to finish without people. So it's this weird catch-22 that I always find myself struggling with. Training for a big run is really casual for me. I don't view it as training, so a lot of it doesn't even involve running. <laughs> Feels good. One of my go-to exercises in the summer is to bike up Donner Summit. It's about three miles with 1,200 feet of vert, so it's a pretty good little ride. I love to demoralize the men. Show them chicks rule, boys drool. I always like to sprint it toward the top. And then people think I've gone that pace the whole way up. It's a big ego booster. Toodle-doodle. Hi. You're fast on that thing, is that a one speed? No, I've got a lot of this training is really just about moving for long periods of time. With this big run in Corsica coming up, I'm really just trying to be outside and be active most of the day because I think in the long run that's what's going to help me the most over there. The GR20 trail is known as one of, if not the, most rugged, technical, challenging um, trails in Europe. It is uh, about 118 miles long. It has about 43,000 feet of vertical ascending. It's something I've never done before. It's gonna be longer by like 18 miles than I've ever done. It's gonna be way more climbing than I've ever done, way more technical. But just to finish it will be like enough of an accomplishment for me. So that's what I'm looking for.
Corsica is a beautiful island off of the coast of France. It's a mixture of larger coastal cities and small mountain villages that never really seem to want to wake up. But they have almost a feel of the Alps. The people are really, really friendly and warm and welcoming and very spirited. I have two friends over here with me and my two sisters. They're all here to help me crew so I don't just vanish out there on the run. They know what to do when I hit a low point, what will make me feel better, but they also know how to crack the whip and show me some tough love. So I don't need to be coddled like an egg all the time. We've spent countless hours researching the route and looking at maps, figuring out all the cruise stops, because it's gonna be hard enough on its own just with the terrain, so everything needs to go as perfectly as possible. All that's left is to do it. Oh, Kalido, please. All right. that bag open. Hey, are you okay? What's up? Um, yeah, she's essentially having an asthma attack. But, um, can you plan on bringing Alex's inhaler? And I'm talking to Cole, too. She's got a bunch of steroid inhalers. Okay. Bring whatever. Um, but she wants to get two to four hours of rest, see if she can't get her breathing better. Or if she's feeling good, then we'll just head back. But that's the current plan. Okay. All right, thank you. Yep, bye.
Fully unwrapping the baby because the baby's so nice and calm. I've been working at UC Davis Hospital in the pediatric intensive care unit for eight years. I went to school thinking I would be a doctor, um, but toward the end of school, I shadowed a nurse and I really liked the schedule. For me, lifestyle is a big motivating factor. I wanted to be able to spend as much time outdoors as possible and still make a living and like what I'm doing. What I love most about working in the PICU is that it's such a great teamwork environment. We are all focused on this one common goal of keeping little kids and babies alive and we all just work really hard towards that goal. When things get hard, and they definitely do, it's easy for me to rely on my coworkers because I know they're all these just very dedicated individuals that no matter what, even if we're having good days or bad days, um, we can just put our heads down and get through it. Right now we're hiking north on the GR20 to go find Rory. She's really slowed down this last eight, nine hour stretch. She'll definitely finish, which we're excited about. She got cheese Pringles. Mm -hmm. Things went really good until about 25 miles ago. <laughs> We're not running towards light out. No more nighttime running. I've had enough. I'm gonna go look through my It was a, a eight to nine hour adventure that turned into a 17 hour adventure with about 10 hours worth of food. I don't think your experience of something should be either diminished or enhanced based on how you perform compared to other people. I don't care like what other woman has run this before and how she did whatever, that won't affect my experience. So I just wanted to go out and have just like a big epic day in the mountains and see if I could do it. Because it's a big task to run that far and that long. And this terrain is brutal. I had an amazing time. I made friends with like the local ultra running community, which was just fantastic. I felt like I was just like enveloped in this warmth of like love and friendship and camaraderie and we were all focused on this one goal. This whole experience really makes me want to go out and find my next GR20. I, like even the parts that like sucked when I was like in the dark and bonking and hungry, I'm like, it just made me love the parts that went great even more, like the whole thing, I loved all of it. Oh, the end, we did it! This was the most memorable experience of my life. It's like the greatest time I think I've had ever. I would go to the beach right now. You guys want to go sit by the beach? It's sure. so hot out. There's a beach right down there. Sure yeah. thing. Heck yes. Sorry.